we're going to take a building information modeling scan, a BIM scan, and make a 3D printable model from that scan. And we're going to start doing that. Uh, start here in Recap, Autodesk Recap. We're going to select one of the models here out of this big fountain that we scanned with a big uh, tripod scanner. A friend of mine actually performed the scans. And we just are going to select one of the statues out of the fountain so we can print that statue. Uh, we're going to clip inside now. Uh, before we clipped outside to get rid of the fountain, now we hit the clip inside to get rid of a little bit of the base there. We're going to get rid of these lights again with the clip inside selection tool and just clip inside again and spin it around. There's, yeah, a little more junk to get rid of. Clip the inside of the selection again and we should be good to go. So now we need to export uh, what is left here of the scan and we're going to export that in the PTS or points. You want to think of it that way, PTS format, which is really just a, a text file. It's a list of coordinates um, for each of the points here in our point cloud uh, collected in our raw scan. So we're going to export our PTS file, and then we're going to use MeshLab to open uh, this point cloud up. But MeshLab is not going to recognize a uh, PT, uh, you know, PTS file, so we're going to have to change the, the file extension so that the file rec or realizes that it's just a list of ASCII characters. So, you know, yeah, let's refresh that. It's here at the top of the list. And we've got to change that to an ASC extension, which is, you know, ASCII. Um, yeah, ASC. Yes, we do want it to uh, become usable by something else. I've got Flash installed on my computer, so it thinks it's a Flash action script file, but that doesn't really matter uh, if it thinks it's something else. MeshLab will recognize that it's just a list of ASCII characters coordinates for all of these points right here. And now it's rendering those points so we can see the big raw point cloud. Um, but it's a little wonky because uh, its center is not uh, the center of the scan. It was off of the center of the scan. So it's going to be when we move it around here. Yeah, you can see the center is somewhere not on the center of our cloud of points. So let's fix that real quick. Uh, drop that to yeah, negative 90 degrees so it's sitting upright in our view here. And we need to translate that now. We'll reposition the center of the point cloud. Uh, hit the preview button. You want to do that when you're either changing the angle or moving a part around so you can actually see what you're doing. Yeah, the y-axis is what we want here to lift it up. Um, not terribly intuitive the way they're named. The x-axis, no, that is not what we want. Let's zero that back out. And the z-axis is going to bring it into the center of our sphere of interest here. There, we're getting close. Let's spin it around look. Uh, let's punch in 3, maybe, 3.5, maybe, a little too far, 3.2, that gets it. All right, let's apply this here because that's looking, well, no, let's lift it up a little bit because uh, I want that base to be higher. I don't care if the head pops out the top a little bit, but I want that base to be closer to the center. So let's close out of that um, after we apply it. And now we need to... Uh, sample this cloud because it's a big jumbled cloud so we need to find the densest uh, collection of points which should represent the surface of the statue that the laser was scanning. We need to apply some world units, a couple thousands there, and make sure be base mesh sam subsampling is checked uh, so it goes and, and uh, does all the sampling it needs to. So we've got that. Let's open up our layers panel and we'll hide our, now let's just delete our uh, original point cloud mesh. And this is the sampled mesh. You can see it's a lot cleaner. Um, it's got some more detail to it, but let's assign some normals to it. And it'll almost uh, look like the statue. Um, down in point set, we compute some normals. I like to punch in uh, 20 and with a one smooth iteration. You can, this is very forgiving. You can experiment with different recipes. Um, and it's pretty quick to apply if you want to try again. 
And there you can see basically what that statue is supposed to look like. But still, it's just a cloud of points. We need to turn it into a mesh if we want to make it uh, anything printable. Um, so let's go down to through point set again. And here I like to use, uh, with our Puisson, uh, remeshing a recipe of 11 Octree, 9 Solver Divide. Um, that usually works out pretty well for me. It's not a, a ridiculous amount of polygons. Here, let's hide the point cloud. And there you can see a nice relatively clean mesh right out the gate here. And we just need to, maybe in another editing program, clean up this little base on the bottom, make it nice and flat. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to use ZBrush because um, I'm going to do a few more minor, minor tweaks on it. So got uh, to do that, I'm going to export as an OBJ. You can export uh, at this point. It's a mesh, so you can export an STL if you want or whatever. Uh, so let's make sure your normals are checked there. And yeah, it's all exported and ready to work with.